Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. Stay with us. We'll have all the action for you live right here on EA TV. Hello, good evening to you, and part of the story here is the Albite Stadium by night, 60,000 capacity here. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. And both teams looking to get off to a flying start here on match day one for them at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Germany versus Japan. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. Here's the starting lineup for Germany. Manuel Neuer between the posts. Antonio Rudiger plays alongside Niklas Zule at the back. Serge Gnabry starts with Leroy Zane in the wide areas. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. And here's the starting 11 for Japan. Well, no surprise, really. They're matching up here. But there are many different ways they can approach this game. And I just think they'll be cautious today, certainly early on. And so the battle commences. Goretzka Joshua Kimmich Gnabry a really committed challenge and it's gone out for a throw in Zule Rudiger has it how about the cross really troubling the goalkeeper at all Stuart well from that range he should be scoring and he knows it well the 2018 World Cup was a bit of a horror show from a German point of view they didn't fare an awful lot better at the last European Championship but many believe the time is now for this crop of players under Hansi Flick how do you see it well I think they are an interesting side I've seen them play well and look like world beaters I've also seen them look a very ordinary team Mind you, being a Bundesliga coverer, Derek, you should want them to win, shouldn't you? Well, I'm always unbiased, but I do like to follow their fortunes. Let's just put it that way. Well, Serge Gnabry, a player who possesses real talent. Stuart, what do you think we'll see from him in this match? Well, Derek, we know he loves linking up with other players, but it's when he's in and around the penalty area, that's when he's at his most dangerous, when he plays little one-tubes around his marker and then plays the next forward pass into a runner. He could be the key to unlocking this defence. Oh, wait, Stuart, they might score! And it goes! An early opening statement in this match. And look at the celebrations. Well, as you can see from the replay, it's the perfect through ball from Havertz. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal.
And back underway. 1-0 it is. Wataru Endo. Free kick awarded then by the referee. Safe pair of hands did his job. That's very effective. Good high pressing. Possession one. Oh, he's left his marker for dead. It's still alive. Well, the goalkeeper got there in the end. Well, his recovery is brilliant here. So athletic. Sané. And collected tidily. He had plenty to think about. Gaku Shibasaki. Offside by the merest of margins. Zula. Gnabry with it. Kimi. Being egged on by the crowd. Well, that's really sound goalkeeping, not letting the opposition have any scraps. He's given it straight to the opposition. Takuma Asano. And Yoshida with it. Minamino. Oh, good work by the keeper. And over it comes. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Defenders need to cover. A glorious chance. Oh, he saved it well. How simple for the keeper. Wataru Endo. And now with Mina Mino. It needs an accurate cross. This could square the game. And that's exactly what has transpired. Now that could be a massive turning point. And momentum is with them. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. So back underway following the equaliser. And number 10, Takumi Minamino. Kehra and Kimmich. Goretzka. Poor pass under no real pressure. Opportunity in the wide area. And let's give credit to the defending. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. They need to get bodies back. He might yet finish. And saved by the keeper. Taken short. 
Zane in the middle. It comes to absolutely nothing. Not a good pass. Well, the referee wasn't going to let that go. Delightful pass. Gnabry. Can he get them in front? Oh, did so well to deny him. Going short. Makes his way in field. Goretzka! And how well the keeper did. Well, that's just exceptional. He reacted so quickly there. And short it is. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Well, the stats tell you everything. They've played well, they've created chances, and I think they've been the better team. They now have to convert one of those opportunities. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. We've had the official word. There will be a minimum of two added minutes. Oh, he looks threatening. Spot on with that tackle. And the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Well, he can be such an artist, Leroy Zane, but this performance, no work of art, Stuart. Yeah, he's looked off the pace today. He just hasn't been himself, has he? And as a result, the team have looked short on creativity. It's been a disappointing performance. And now they get the ball rolling. So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Sané. to the annoyance of the keeper. Well, here we can see it again. Normally, I'm the first to point the finger at a goalkeeper, but I think it's a good initial save. I'm not sure he could have done much more. Just a bit unfortunate, really, that it dropped to an opponent. A narrow 2 1 lead as things stand. Mina Mino. Over the touchline for a throw in. He's given it straight to the opposition. He's in behind. And it's there for him. And denied by the keeper. Impressive. Takumi Minamino. Germany in a position of menace. Went in strongly, decisively. Kai Havertz. Müller, it's a perfect challenge. Plenty of support here. Fantastic work to thwart the danger. Attack continues, they're making considerable progress. 
Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. Asano. Mina Mina. It's with Asano. There's a slide draw pass. and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back but should the keeper be beaten at his near post I don't think so he really needs to do better in those situations underway again with the score at 3-1 Well, as you can see, he's given far too much space, but he still had some work to do, and I think that's a very tidy finish. It was never in doubt. Goals in plentiful supply, 4-1 currently. Ito, cutting infield here, that's not a bad ball, well the cross that time completely overcooked. Well the stats confirm that Germany have had the lion's share of possession and they've made good use of it, they really have played some good attacking football and they look like scoring more. And into the last 20 minutes. Mina Mina. Sound piece of goalkeeping. No mistake from the keeper. Will it be punished? Gaku Shibasaki. Played towards the back post. And he scored not once but twice. They simply cannot stop him. And no wonder he's enjoying himself. Let's see this again, because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better. Played into just the right area, and the finish is really well taken, because he judges the flight of the ball, uses the right technique, and then makes such good contact. That's a clever goal. So the current scoreline, 4-2. We're inside the final 15 minutes. The tackle completely missed time, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. And a yellow card for that, Stuart. And he's going to have to be careful now. That was a silly challenge. Really a very poor ball. Ko Itakura. Good move in the making from Germany. Muda! Well, what an opportunity squandered. Far too easy for the keeper. Throw-ins given. Ito. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. An alert piece of defending. Thomas Müller. And teammates around him.
Nicely timed tackle. Sané. Mina Mino. It's with Asano. And he's going to be disappointed with that pass. Leroy Zane. Good looking sequence. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Could pull one back here. Oh, good work by the keeper. Joshua Kimmich. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. And all over here, an acceptable outcome from a German point of view. A victory for them. Stuart, sum it up for us. Well, fairly comfortable in the end, wasn't it? Thought they controlled the middle of the park well. Going forward, there was some really nice incisive play too. It's a good result for them. Well, quite understandably, our camera operators are staying as close as possible to Leon Goretzka. It was a terrific performance from him. Stuart, not that we should be too surprised about that. Well, I'm not concerned about him missing a few chances. The main thing is he kept on getting into the right areas and he scored a very good goal as well.